Hi, I'm Maureen Meinhardt. I'm the director of the Greater Green Bay Habitat for Humanity Restore. And I'm Jennifer Meyer. I am the merchandise and sales floor manager at the Restore. And we are going to give you a tour of the Restore today. Before we start our tour, I want to give you a little bit of background on what the Restore is, what we do. We are uh, part of the Greater Green Bay Habitat for Humanity affiliate, is what it's called. We are a funding arm of that affiliate. So the money that we make from the Restore goes to building homes in the Brown County area uh, for our well-deserving homeowner families. The Restore is kind of like a cross between a Home Depot and a um, Goodwill in that most of our products are donated like Goodwill. However, the types of products you'll find here are more like a Home Depot plus a furniture store plus some other quirky stuff that we get in. So um, this store has been in this location just for a little over a year. The store was in an Ash Wabanon location since 2009. And um, we have a couple cool programs here. I'm gonna let Jennifer start to talk about the store itself and we'll talk about the recycling and volunteer programs we have as well. So this is the Restore. Um, like Maureen said, we moved here just a year ago and in our move, we were able to double our square footage of sales floor, which is very exciting. Um, we have quite a large department for furniture, um, tables, as well as um, hard furniture, such as dressers, touches, um, different things like that and then we also have some purchase product and we'll walk you through that area um, as Maureen said the majority of our products that we sell are donated to us but we do purchase paint and paint supplies and a few other things just to kind of balance out our inventory um, we also have purchase rugs and um, trim sometimes we get lumber in we have appliances as well as um, various flooring and office furniture. So we'll take you to the back of the house and we'll show you the life cycle of a donation. So now we're in the back of the house of the ReStore. Um, we do have um, our own truck, our own box truck that can pick up donations, um, residential and commercial. Um, and that is something that um, you can schedule online on our website and um, it has a full list of what we do and do not take for donations. A few simple things that we do not take, we do not take mattresses, um, hide to bed sofas, um, and then any appliances over seven years old. Um, at this time, we're also not taking desks. Um, and basically, it's just because those items we can't or just don't sell. And then it would cost us money to get rid of them via a dumpster. Um, but this dock door is where our truck backs up. So donations would come off the truck. Um, if it's like a soft furniture, we do sanitize it and sit. Um, but then it gets processed either by a staff or a volunteer. Um, we price the items and then they go out onto the floor. If it's smaller items, we put them in hoppers and then they get sorted, cleaned, and priced by our army of volunteers. Let's go down and see what they're doing. So this is the area where people um, would drop off their donations to us and we will actually later go outside and show you our fabulous overhang where you can drop off your items that you would like to donate to the ReStore. And this is also the area that when you purchase something and it's too large to carry out yourself, um, our staff and volunteers can help load it into your vehicle. This is our metal recycling area. The metal recycling program is an all volunteer run program. Um, we net over $20,000 a year uh, just from recycling metals. And what the metal recycling volunteers do is um, they will take apart um, pieces that we that haven't sold or we can't sell that are broken and take different kinds of metals out and sort the metal. Um, the way that they sort the metal is um, based on what will get us the most return, the most money for the metals. Um, so we have anywhere between zero and 10 well, right now during COVID, we don't have 10 <laughs> volunteers back here, but we have several um, people that come in several days a week and they have fun, they on, turn on their own music and they um, hammer away and get, get the metal separated for us to contribute again to the our homeowner program for Habitat for Humanity. This is our volunteer merchandise prep area. So when items come in, um, we have many volunteers. Usually it's more volunteers back here than we have staff working for a day and the volunteers will um, sort the material, clean it, price it, test it if it's something that can be tested, and put it out on the sales floor for us. So um, obviously we rely heavily on our volunteers. We have many dedicated people that come in several times a week for several hours a day. Um, they have their, usually have their own specialties um, or things that they like to work on, and we've got a great mix of things that you can do as a volunteer as well if you're interested. This is our lighting department. Um, we average in sales about 
$5,800 of lighting a month, which is incredible. Um, so we have chandeliers, we have bathroom lighting, um, flush melt lighting, wall sconces, lamps, um, you name it, we have quite an extensive and revolving and rotating light department. Um, along our back wall, we have our door department, which again, it's another um, high dollar area where we receive many, many doors um, donations. We have a great volunteer that the door department is his department. He will measure and mark each door. So it's very easy to shop. You just look at the size of door that you need and pull it out and wheel it to the front. Um, also back here, we have light bulbs, new and used. Um, we also have quite an extensive trim area where you can find all different um, types of trim, no matter what project you're doing, whether it's a new home build, remodel, or even um, a DIY project. And then we also have windows. Um, we receive new windows donated from local companies as well as gently used windows. So we, again, it's another um, always revolving department. This is our flooring department. We um, receive um, new tile, whether it's enough for a small project or a large room. Um, again, it's donations from um, residential as well as commercial and corporate donations. Um, we have a lot of tile, a lot of fun tile. Um, we just discovered this fun herringbone tile. If you're handy and know how to make a herringbone on your floor or your back stack. So there's a lot of different tile and then we also have um, hardwood floor, laminate floor, luxury vinyl tile, luxury vinyl planks. Um, we have some carpet remnants and again it's all of our flooring is new um, and various quantities. Um, this is our plumbing department so we have pedestal sinks, um, drop-in sinks, kitchen sinks, gently used toilets as well as any type of plumbing fitting or device. Um, we also sell toolbars, all kinds of fun plumbing things. This is our home decor section. Uh, we have, all this product is donated, however, some of it is new. Um, there's some product called Kate and Laurel, which are, um, it's a product line where they have had returns or missed picks, and those come back to us as donations, actually through some friends of ours at the Dane County Habitat Restores. So you can see all these products are brand new. Um, they're cool, they're trendy, they're you know at least half of what they would be online at another retailer. There are some scratches on some of them, but I'd say 90% of them are just probably somebody got the wrong color or didn't want to, decided they didn't want it and returned it, and luckily it came back to us. We also have, um, if you want to donate home decor, we, we, we take donated home decor from residential customers as well. Um, and we also take uh, home decor items from, or decor items from hotels or large businesses. A lot of times we'll get, you know, if you get in a hotel, pretty much every room has the same print. We'll get, you know, 50 of the same print. So even if you don't like that print, usually we sell them very inexpensively until you can get a nice frame for $5 and take that print out and put in whatever you want. Here we have our tool department. Uh, it's a little light right now. We generally, in the spring, we have a spring tool drive where we encourage donors to um, take a look at their toolboxes and their basements and their sheds and take a look at what they might not need or want to replace that spring or summer and ask them to bring their old stuff to us um, as long as it's still in working condition. So. You won't believe how much these aisles fill up during the spring and summer. Last year, at the spring and summertime, we were just like, what are we gonna do with all these tools? So it's, it gets a little slower in February, then in March it starts to heat up again. So please take a look at our um, Facebook page where we do our spring tool drive, and hopefully you can donate to us this spring, and then come back in and buy something else this summer. This is our lawn and garden department. Um, depending on the season, we have lawnmowers, um, large tools, right now we have a snow thrower and one shovel. Um, at the beginning of which we had many, many shovels. Um, we also have a wider array of weed whackers and um, different yard, lawn and garden tools. Um, in the spring and summer we'll have patio furniture, lawn chairs, um, you get beautiful furniture in for your decks and outdoor area. And then we also have um, a lot of garden and gardening equipment. Earlier, Jennifer mentioned that we do have purchase some product new to round out your um, whatever kind of project you're working on. One of those product lines is paint. Um, we get Amazon paint. Again, it's new paint. It is recycled paint, though, which makes it really interesting. So um, you can look up all the details about Amazon paint online. But um, the colors are pretty trendy and pretty. We have some classic and some trendy colors. Um, it's really good, high quality paint. We've got a lot, a lot of compliments on it. Um, 
along with Amazon Paint, we also have paint accessories. So we're trying to not have, have you not have to make another trip to another store. So we have brand new paint brushes, paint, paint rollers. We also have some used painting um, accessory equipment as well if you're interested. Um, along the lines of, again, a purchased product, we also have some small tools and accessories for, uh, again, to complete your project. One of our staff's favorite, and volunteers' favorite sections is our antique section. Um, it's a DIY, DIYer's paradise as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we get in some things that, um, very well-known things like old sewing machines, and then we get some things in that looks like it was a piece of farm equipment that we don't exactly know what it was used for in the past, but we love to see people take them and turn it into a light fixture. Um, another thing is we get a lot of these kind of old stereo um, record players, and I want to see somebody turn this into a bar. So. If you do come in and you find a project, we would really appreciate it if you take a before and after picture and send it to us so we can show off what our customers can do. Um, kind of along those lines, you'll also see throughout the store that we have some ideas. So if we get a piece in that we know can be turned into something else, um, we'll take a picture of what it could be and give you some ideas of ways to upcycle and recycle some of our antique furniture. Uh, another fun area that we have are cabinet doors. Yes, we have a whole department dedicated to cabinet doors. Um, fun fact about Brown County, we have more cabinet makers per capita than I think any county, at least in the state, if not far further out. Um, we are lucky enough to get pallets and pallets and pallets of cabinet doors donated to us. And we have many customers who buy them and do um, stencils, make signs out of them, trays. We've actually even hosted a few DIY nights where we've made products or projects out of cabinet doors. Um, some people are handy enough to use them as cabinet doors, but it's fun to talk to our customers as they buy cartfuls of cabinet doors in the, around the holidays and listen to the different crafts and projects that they make them, make them into. All of our cabinet doors are $2 regardless of size. Um, and we, like I said, we get pallets and pallets and pallets in, so we always have um, a rotating stock Something we have in store right now that we don't always have in store is we have some hardwood flooring material um, straight from the mill. Um, this flooring comes in all different kinds of species. Some of it's finished, some of it's unfinished, um, some of it, a little bit of it is engineered, uh, but it's um, at a fraction of the cost you could get it brand new. And as you can see, we have um, a lot of it, and this isn't even all of it. Uh, so probably the smallest lot we have would be a very small room, probably a bathroom, 80 square feet, but we have lots that get up to a thousand square feet. So you could do virtually a whole home in this hardwood flooring. And again, it's a really good price. One of the uh, different things about the store versus other retail stores is our pricing structure. All of our items have a price tag on them and they're different colors. And the first of every month, our colors move down in discounts. So the longer something's in the store, the more of a discount it has. So right now, anything that has a price tag is priced as marked, and then our pricing structure goes from 25, 50 to 75% off. So there's always um, bargains to be had, but if you are trying to wait for it to go down to another discount, you always run the risk of losing that item. So um, but this is our in-store discount. All right, to wrap it up for our tour today, uh, I want to mention our store hours. We are still kind of on COVID hours, so our store hours are Tuesday through Saturday. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, we do start accepting donations Tuesday through Saturday at 9 a.m. So if you want to shop 10 to 4, if you want to donate 9 to 4 on Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and keep in touch for, for more information on Give Big Green Bay and the Restore. We're also going to do a little snippet on how to make a donation to the Restore. Thank you. Thank you.